I'm going to start this video off by letting you see for yourself Joe Biden lying for about a minute straight. This last election, I think Hillary is at such a disadvantage or as a double standard because she was a woman, how it was applied. But beyond that, Trump was pretty smart. He made it all personal. There were fewer words spoken relating to any issue of any campaign in modern history. First off, for the thousandth time, Hillary Clinton did not lose because she was a woman. People are sick and tired of the status quo. They're sick and tired of war. She's a warmongering corporate sellout politician that nobody likes. And you follow this blatant lie up with the biggest, most easy to disprove lie of all, claiming that Hillary Clinton lost because Trump used more personal attacks and spoke about less issues than ever. Hmm, let's check the stats. Let's check the actual study. Oh my goodness, what do you know? It was actually Hillary Clinton who by far used less policy and more personal attacks than ever before. Let's look at Trump's graph. Let's look at Hillary Clinton's graph. Now repeat after me like a little baby kid, Joe Biden. Which presidential candidate was it that used less policy and more personal attacks than ever in history? Let's try this again. It was Hillary Clinton. Oh, what do you know? People wanted actual policy. They wanted actual truth. They wanted actual discussion. They didn't want more war. They didn't want more corruption. Wow, who would have known? Who would have known people wanted actual substance, actual truth? Who would have thought that people wanted actual policy and less personal attacks? But they still don't get it. Donald Trump did not set the bar high. All you have to do is be better. Just be better. They're doing everything but being better. They're like, what can I do? What excuse can I use? Who can I blame? Who can I point accountability towards? Just be better. Here's the bar, go over it. But Democrats go under the bar and they just lie, 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 lie. And I'm sick of it. They're such a disgusting, corrupt bunch. And until people get over their identity politic tricks, they're just gonna keep using them and keep using them because that's how stupid most people are in our society. Oh, look at this Joe Biden meme. Oh my God, this Joe Biden meme. I love Joe Biden memes. Joe Biden's so cool, he's so funny. Oh, look at him and Barack Obama's relationship. It's so cute. Friendship goals, hashtag friendship goals. That's like me and my friends. Yeah, that's what identity politics is. They play with your emotions, they use race, religion, gender, anything that will strike up an emotional feeling within you, and they use that against you. They don't use it to help kids, they don't use it to help women, they don't use it to help minorities and people of other races and religion. They do it to continue to gain power and be the most corrupt gang in the United States. It's absolutely disgusting. This is who so-called Democrats want to run in 2020, a guy that will stand in front of you and tell you that Hillary Clinton lost because she was a woman, like the crazy shill Rachel Maddow. Crazy Democrat shill Chris Hayes wants to weigh in. Hmm, people are so crazy to me that want to hold Hillary Clinton accountable. I mean, John McCain lost and it wasn't all his fault. Let's apply Chris Hayes' logic to something else. Oh my goodness, I just spilled my water. Well, it wasn't really my fault. I mean, I didn't spill the water. It could have been Russians. It could have been racism. It could have been sexism. There's other people who spilled water before. So I mean, it's not like I spilled the water. These dishonest goofballs are just completely unbelievable to me. And even more unbelievable is that millions of people actually believe them. Feel free to watch that Joe Biden interview again. The whole thing was just one giant lie. He said that Donald Trump won because he had more personal attacks than ever when it was actually Hillary Clinton who had more personal attacks by far than ever, by far. Less policy by far. And it doesn't take a Westland study. It doesn't take a rocket scientist or a genius or a doctor to figure that out. You could see it during the election. She was a complete vacuum, a complete void, a complete soulless being who wasn't talking about anything wasn't having any press conferences, wasn't doing rallies, wasn't trying to connect with people, wasn't telling the truth, wasn't trying to stop war, wasn't trying to stop corruption, wasn't trying to stop the banking system. She provided nothing for anybody. And politicians like Joe Biden have the nerve to sit there and lie to people. Free yourself from identity politics. Don't let them use race, religion, gender, and even the environment now 
to scare you into voting for the Democratic Party. Do your own research, figure out what's best for the environment, what's best for people of all races, religions, and cultures on your own. Don't let these deceptive politicians do it for you. Watch me living out the system, yeah, I stretch like every day. I be all about my fitness, keep my mind about the stress. So I always be my sickness, I don't trust no corporation, cause they lie like politicians. I don't